couple of more topics and we talk about why this is a challenge, why it is hard to implement this in, within organizations and why embracing this mindset is hard. And in the same Agile 2021 report released last week by digital.ai, they talked about the biggest challenges to Agile adoption is inconsistency in processes and teams across teams. Our te the larger the organization, more different flavors of the way we operate are. Diversity is good. Having an idea of like giving people autonomy to do how they want to operate is good. But inconsistent processes and practices uh, make it very, very challenging. And Deborah here says exactly, I, absolutely right. The survey and feedback is created from people. The more we have consistency, the more alignment we have, it is the areas of how we're going to get. I have no experience with Agile, but I want to get my Scrum Master certificate. Any advice? Uh, tons of options are available for you, Bao. Uh, feel free to reach out to the Expert Agile Club. I'll share my email address at the end. Uh, feel free to reach out. There are tons of options available. Different certification bodies are available and definitely would be uh, helpful to get an idea of where you end up wanting to reside in. Another important piece, which is the final, final words from my side is never underestimate the value of process. Just like what we showed in the previous slide, it's not a question of what you are doing and agile adoption in terms of challenges is not the number one thing. It says inconsistency in processes and practices. It doesn't say the biggest challenge to agile adoption is the scrum certification. The more we underest we cannot underestimate the value of process, having the right amount of process will help you reach high performing teams as Brian pointed out. You constantly don't have dedicated members, will be constantly chopping and churning and will be back into forming and norming phases. Never underestimate the value of process, but always remember not at the cost of people. Agile is all about people first. Deborah here finally points out something which is super critical. Agility needs to start from the top down with consistency. 100% agreed with you, Barbara, Deborah. At the end of the day, whether you are at the top of an organization or bottom of an organization, you are an individual. And the more interactions you can have with people in your teams, in your trains, the better chances of success you will have. Because success of an organization depends on people, depends on individuals, depends on their interactions with each other. Final quote from Blake Ronnie he talks about most successful readers are people who put other people's first. In the long run, that's what makes them successful. We individually only have a certain sphere of influence, a certain amount of knowledge, certain amount of learning. But when we operate as a team and we bring others around us, that's what success looks like in the long run. One thing on, on that, Abura, with the people that, um, I don't know if anybody else has been attending the Agile Alliance um, conference this week, but Alistair Cockburn, so one of the authors of the Agile Manifesto, um, spoke at it. I've heard him say it before at other things, but one of the key things, um, if anybody is not familiar with it, he will say his number one job is helping people get along. That's when he goes into the consulting that he does, he views it as he needs to help people get along. If he can get that done, then the other stuff can fall into place. But if he can't get that done, then everything else is going to be a challenge. Absolutely right, Brian. Interesting you mentioned Agile Alliance. Uh, I'm speaking tomorrow at Agile Alliance at 7 a.m., so less than 12 hours from now. So it's a fantastic event. Uh, would love for people to come in and join. And it's, it is the largest Agile conference um, globally. So he's absolutely right, Alistair. Us as agile leaders, as coaches, as change agents, as leaders, our job is to make sure that people embrace the difference in opinion amongst others. All of you have talked about listening, instilling trust, instilling confidence. No certification teaches you how to give confidence and how to create a better culture. It comes from experience, it comes from listening, and more importantly, it comes from having the same growth mindset that I know what I know, but there is so much more for me to learn and learn from each other. And the final word from my side, achieving agility today is more important than ever. I feel 2020 was a breakthrough year, which impacted every single aspect of our lives. We as leaders, we as humans, we as people constantly need to refine our vision, uh, develop a deeper understanding of our customers, 
uh, whether it is in a agile brains, whether it is another company, whether it's an organization, we have to gain clarity within execution. And last but not least, it is going to allow us to be agile in our delivery. Listening from feedback, finding ways to improve, and constantly finding ways to innovate are key pillars of what agility is all about. Thank you.